Welcome to this episode of Morning Report Emergency Medicine. I'm Alec Weir. This is the case of the wolf pack. A 17-year-old male reports acute onset of palpitations with shortness of breath and mild lightheadedness today. It resolved spontaneously after 20 minutes, and he had a similar episode a year ago, but that one resolved spontaneously as well. His temperature is 36.7, heart rate of 64, blood pressure of 134 over 67, breathing 16 times a minute, satting 100% on room air. And what's the differential diagnosis? 17-year-old male with palpitations. Things like electrolyte abnormalities, thyroid disease, arrhythmias, drugs, anxiety. It's all on the table. And here's his EKG. And when we're talking about EKGs in young, healthy people, especially if they're having symptoms of palpitations or syncope, you got to pay close attention to the intervals. Whether it's a Brugada syndrome with an incomplete right bundle branch block and a slightly widened QRS or prolonged QT and congenital prolonged QT syndrome or short PRs. Let's take a look at this EKG. He's beating right around 60 beats per minute, normal axis. It's normal sinus rhythm, P's before every QRS, is QRS is after every P's, but look at that PR interval, that PR interval is short, really short, and why is it so short? Well, it's because of that delta wave that's present, it's present in almost every single lead. Of course, we're talking about Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Look for that short PR interval, and the reason you have that short PR is because of the delta wave and because of the accessory pathway that exists between the atria and the ventricles. The delta wave may not always be present, but the short PR is the key, and here, classic. What is Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome? It's a pre-excitation syndrome. There's an additional or accessory AV pathway. causes palpitation, syncope, even V-fib arrest or AFib. And the key to Wolf-Parkinson-White is that short PR. On the EKG, you can have that delta wave, you can have T wave abnormalities. Usually you'll have a dominant R wave in V1 and V2, and you also may have some inferior Q waves, but they're not pathologic Q waves of an MI. Here's our EKG again. We see that short PR interval in every lead, and we also see that delta wave, that up slope here at the beginning of every QRS. We don't have that dominant R wave in V1 and V2. We actually have a large S wave. That's because this is a type B Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. So how do you treat this? Well, if they're an arresting EKG like we have here, you can put them in an antiarrhythmic. But if it's unstable, they're in an AFib, they're in a tachydysrhythmia, or they're in shock, you cardiovert them. And the antiarrhythmics, well, you need antiarrhythmics that prolong the accessory pathway. Things like amio, or procainamide, flecainide, or propafenone. You can avoid drugs that shorten the refractory period like DIG. Also medications that shorten conduction between the atria and the ventricles, leaving only the accessory pathway like verapamil or lidocaine. Beta blockers really have no effect on this accessory pathway. Long term, these patients need an ablation of that accessory pathway. This patient was started on propafenone, which is a class 1C antiarrhythmic. It's a sodium channel antagonist. Him and his family are currently weighing the consideration of ablation therapy. Our take-home points, the differential of palpitations, of course, arrhythmia is on that list. And with this case of Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, you want to look for that short PR interval and the delta wave. If they're unstable, if they're in shock, give them a shock. And then for antiarrhythmics, you want things that will prolong the accessory pathway, things like amio or procainamide. And procainamide is really the one I want to hit home. Flecainide or propafenone. Avoid things like verapamil, dig, or beta blockers. As always, you can follow me at Weir underscore Alec on Twitter or subscribe to this channel for more updates from Morning Report Emergency Medicine. Keep your eyes out for those interesting cases.